Welcome to this video. My name is Mark Scythian. The date today is March 7th, 2024. So in this video, we will discuss how to calculate air density between mean sea level to 36,089 feet above mean sea level. So first off, it should be known that the chemical composition of air is 21% oxygen gas, 78% nitrogen gas, and 1% inert gases. So this translates to our chemistry or chemical composition of air in percentage metrics. So one computed for any given finite volume of air, the molar mass of the composite gas known as air is 29 grams per mole. This molar mass of air is multiplied times the atmospheric pressure in PSI, then divided into the ideal gas law constant for air, which is 10.73, then multiplied times the Rankine absolute air temperature, which is the relative temperature in Fahrenheit plus 460. Upon doing so, assume the air temperature at a given location is 78 degrees Fahrenheit and the atmospheric pressure is 13.46 PSI. The atmospheric pressure in PSI is multiplied times the molar mass of air, 29 grams per mole, then divided into 10.73 times the Rankine absolute air temperature of the air, in this case, 78 degrees Fahrenheit plus 460. So this yields an air density of 0 0.0676 pounds mass per cubic foot at 13.6, uh, 13.46 PSI atmospheric pressure in 78 degree Fahrenheit air temperature. So if we were to take the inverse of the air density in pounds per cubic foot, this translates to 14.8 cubic feet of air volume will equal one pound of mass air. So if this needs to be converted to the metric measurement for air density kilograms per cubic meter. Simply divide the pounds mass into 2.2, then divide the quantity of 1 into 3.28. This quantity ratio taken to the third power or cubed will yield 1.08 kilograms per cubic meter is the equivalent air density in the metric system congruent with 0 0.0676 pounds per cubic foot air density in the U.S. system of measure. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.